I want to create the effect of an object leaving a trail behind it, like I have here. So I don't really have the loop. What I have is just the dot, and the dot is animated with position keyframes. So if I selected it, I would see that it just has position keyframes. So I'm going to start over, and I'm going to start by creating a shape. I'm not going to use the dot that is an image. We're going to see the difference, because there is a difference between the two. If I have a shape, and I move the shape around, so I'll press P, keyframe the position, and create a few keyframes for this. If I play, I will see that it's moving very slowly. I'll select all the keyframes, press Alt, and just squeeze them in like this. So now it moves faster, a bit faster. Now, another way to actually change the time of a layer is to work on the stretch. If I right click, if I right -click and go to Columns and Stretch, the stretch is the stretch of the time. So if I set my stretching to 200%, it will get twice slower. If I set it to 25%, it will be four times faster. So let's set it to 25% and press play. You'll see that it gets faster and the keyframes are squeezed in together. So that's a fast way to globally change the time of a layer and at the same time being able to regain the original by resetting the stretch value to zero, to 100%. All right, so now that I have this, if I selected my shape, I can go to Effect and Time and Echo. We have seen this effect before. OK, so if I press Play, I see that I have something. If I look closely, I see that I have two squares. And this is because of the number of echoes, which I can increase. So by increasing that number, all right, um, you would duplicate this. But uh, they all have the same intensity, so that's not very real. I have something called decay, all right? So if I increase or decrease the decay, nothing seems to be happening. So what I have to do actually is decrease it and not increase it. Now, in reality, the word decay means reduce. Reduce with distance, for example. Here, it means the opposite, because if I want to increase the decay, I have to go below one instead of going higher than one. So but anyway, um, if you want to have a smoother transition, you would increase number of echoes. And when you play, you're going to have the effect. All right? I can also play with the intensity. Now, there is one thing that we have to consider, which is the fact that I'm using a shape here. And it works nicely with the shape. But let's say that I wasn't using a shape. I was using a regular image. So let's go back and delete this. Or let's leave it for comparison and create a new composition and call it image trail. And here I'm going to drag an image onto my composition. And I want to give it an animation. So I'll do the same thing. I can use the wiggler for creating uh, the animated effect. Okay, but I just want to create a simple animation. Okay, say like this. All right, so if I selected now this and went to effect, time, and echo, I will see that I don't really have the trail anymore, but I see that the effect is composited over the actual image. Okay, why is that? It's because the, the echo effect works on motion within the layer, but not motion outside the layer. So here I'm moving the whole layer, and the echo, echo effect does not take this into consideration. The reason it worked before is because whenever I had the shape, After Effects internally considers this internal motion. 
but this is moving the layer and therefore the echo effect does not work. What would be the solution? Since I have the motion already, the solution would be to convert this image with its motion into a composition. And therefore this composition will be a layer that contains internally the motion effect. So I'll go to layer and pre-compose and I'll call it say dot with animation. All right. So now if I go if I press P and go to the position I see that I have no keyframes, but at the same time I have the animation internally. This is very use this is very similar to the movie clip concept of flash where you have an animation internal to the external object. So now let's see if it works. If I go to effect time and echo and I play, first I see that I have two and again if I increase the echo I would get this. I can decrease the decay and therefore I would get my trail effect working. This is very important and you should always consider it whenever you are applying an effect to something and it doesn't work, it's because this effect is made to work internally inside the layer and not externally. So the solution for this is to pre-compose the layer and that would make it a layer with internal animation and therefore you would get your result working.